What's going on everybody? Vince Goodrum here. It is Saturday afternoon, just chilling. Uh, been working in the office as usual, I'm about to head out. But I wanted to make this video today about Dr. Rackpool. And Rackpool, I'm gonna give you a little bit of advice. I'm gonna make it quick. Where I am at presently is my office. I use this office in order to conduct work. In my office is a desk, a lamp, a computer, pen holder, Cisco IP telephone. You know, I use this office for work. At home, I have a living room. My living room is for reading books, it's for entertaining guests, it's for watching TV, it's also for playing music. And I have a pretty nice living room with, you know, Bose speakers and everything like that. In my home, I have a kitchen. I, ha I use that kitchen in order to cook food as well as to sit down and eat. And I also keep my humidor and all of my fine wines and liquor in the kitchen. Right behind that is a laundry room. I use a laundry room in order to wash clothes. And then I have my bedroom. I use my bedroom to sleep and my bathroom to take a piss and a dump. And then my second bedroom I use for my exercise equipment. Yet, you, on the other hand, you use your living room for working out on a squat rack. You have a squat rack in your living room, and you have a punching bag in your kitchen. Are you stupid or something? What sane person actually keeps a squat rack in their living room? You see... And I've really ignored it because I was just assuming that squat rack uh, was in some sort of exercise room until I saw the punching bag, you know, and you were obviously in the kitchen. So I had to do a bob observation and come to find out you keep your squat rack in your living room. Are you, what is wrong with you? You need to have a separate room for these things, you know, for exercise equipment. How in the world are you supposed to have guests over? How are you supposed to cook? F I mean, I don't know what kind. I don't know how you cook food with a punching bag. Even if you can, it's just kind of weird. It's you know, what does your wife think about that anyway? I couldn't imagine being Doctor Rackpool's wife to where uh, she has to. She can't use her living room for watching TV or for entertaining guests. Guests come in and they see a the freaking squat rack with weights and everything. That's just plain stupid. I mean, it's not even hardcore. It's just, it's just, it's just dumb, you know? There's nothing hardcore about it, you know? I don't know of no person that keeps a squat rack in their living room or a punching bag in their kitchen. My advice to you, rack pool, is to find a separate room, move all your garbage in there, Either that or put it out on the curb for pickup and go get yourself a gym membership. And then go get some living room furniture and get some uh, kitchen stuff, you know. I mean, you're, you're a goof, you know. Squat rack in a living room. What is wrong with you? Do you not have any bit of sense whatsoever? You know, I understand that you enjoy working out and showing off and making your YouTube videos, but do yourself a favor. Make them somewhere else there, you know, because at the end of the day, when I'm not working, I don't want to have my office in my living room, you know. When I'm in my living room, I don't want to think about work whatsoever. And when I'm in the kitchen, I don't want to think about work and I don't want to watch TV in the kitchen. I want to, I want to cook a meal. And when I go to my bedroom, I do not want, I don't keep TVs 
in my living room. I mean, I have a monitor in my, uh, or excuse me, uh, I'm talking about the bedroom. Sorry. Uh, anyway, in my bedroom, I keep a monitor there, uh, but that would only be for uh, my Google Chromecast. And while I occasionally watch a video when I'm in the bedroom, it's only whenever I'm folding clothes. But my bedroom is primarily for sleep. So, Racky, come to your senses and get that crap out of your living room. You know, do that for your wife, you know. I mean, I feel sorry for her, you know. I mean, you're a goof. I'm out of here. Take care.